Good morning, Ramadan Mubarak. It's the first day of Ramadan today, so Ramadan Mubarak. So I'm going to film two videos today. I'm going to finish um, recording my food prep for Ramadan, then the first day of Ramadan. I'm going to edit that. I did it differently and post it today. I'm going to post the food prep for Ramadan today there's only one batch i'm going to produce like that kind today so yeah i'm going to do that yeah come along with me welcome to my vlog madan let's get started so we started by spreading the powder finger millet on a platter so that it will like dry under the sun then like that's it then we move to actually peeling the skin of the beans from the beans because we are like to do the we are going to use this for either akara or moi moi during this ramadan so to do that you have to peel the skin from the beans if that makes sense that's my mom doing it you do it for about 15 minutes so now the skin is already peeled that's the skin like that's how like testing whether all the skin has been removed from the beans she's now showing you like the skin all the skin that's been separated from the beans so she's going to spread it under the sun to dry under something clean. Some people actually spread it on the ground, but for us, it's not hygienic. So we are going to spread it under a mat so that it will dry. Um, the, the skin will dry and the beans too will dry so that it can be stored um, to whenever you are going to use it. Yes. So I forgot to film the first process. She added the beans then water for it to soak a little bit then you pound it not like pounded it to powder form no to remove the skin the process is very tricky so even me i don't know how to do this part but she's actually showing me how to do it that's after the skin has been peeled and she has some water to to continue peeling the skin from the beans then she spread more of it on the ground there's also another process to peel the skin from the if you don't have a pestle and mortar you can use your hand to remove the skin from the beans by soaking it in hot water like not hot boiling water a little bit like warm water or normal cold water for at least two minutes then you start like peeling it with your hands like um putting it in between your palms and pressing it hard so that it removes the skin from the main beans that's her testing it so that like to see if you can she can actually start peeling the skin then she's actually rubbing it in between her palms so that it will remove the skin like yes that's what she's doing <laughs> I know how to do this type of like this kind of peeling the skin but i don't know how to do the other one because the other one is so tricky this one is more convenient for me to do you see the skin is already peeled from the main veins and she's showing you uh, the skin is separate from the beans then that's it's another process to remove the skin from the beans is by washing it with a strainer and water two bowls main bowl with the beans and other bowl that you are going to strain the water you are going to use 
this process to remove the skin too you can also use the other process by drying it under the sun then you remove the skin later you will see the process later how the skin is going to be removed with the dry ones after you wash this you can also dry it under the sun if you are going to use it later or you can soak it and blend it if you are going to use it right away yes that's just me doing like draining the water um, and removing the skin from the beans then i'm showing it to you the final beans without the skin but there's still some remaining skin on the bowl that's the skin that's the beans yeah then my mom asked me to come and give it to her so that she will spread it under the sun because we are not going to use it right away you can dry it and then later use it or you can use it like this by soaking it like for at least 10 minutes so that you can blend it and have your akara or moi moi Then we move to peeling and um, processing, like removing the skin of the millet, like from the millet. Does that make sense? Removing the skin of the millet. It's also the same process with the beans. You are going to add some water to it and let it soak for a little bit. Then you are going to pound it, not in powder form, but to remove the skin from the millet because there's also a process a mechanical process that can be done a machine to remove the skin too she's like draining a little bit of water because she added too much water to it she's draining it that's my mom doing it then she'll go back to pounding it so that the skin will be removed then you sun dry it and then separate the skin from the from the millets if that makes sense <laughs> then she started pounding it she will pound this for at least 30 minutes to 40 minutes because this process is so hard because i cannot do it she's the only one that can do it Then you're going to pound it, pound it until the skin separates from the main millet. Um, after some minutes, this is the millet. I, you cannot, you will notice that it's changed its texture. The skin is already removed from the main millet. That's it. That's that. Then after some minutes too. You are going to spread it under the sun to dry so that it can be an easy process if you are going to remove the skin from the um millet that's her trying like she's like she's now going to like this is a, another process to remove the skin from the beans you're going to put it in a platter and actually do this process i don't know the english name you see what she's doing then i cannot explain it i don't know like i don't know what to call it in english so i'm sorry she's going to do all this process she's removing the skin they are going to also use this process to remove the skin the dried skin millet from the millet if that makes sense i hope you understand what i'm trying to explain here After that, I came inside the kitchen and stuck our rice 
and um, our sushi rice or non parboiled rice this is mean white rice and other parboiled rice for fried rice and other rice the other one we are going to use it for the pudding or kunu you can call it that i put it back to their place and after drying everything that's the beans with no skin and then next to it is the millet too the millet too with no skin yeah check it out with no skin does that then the beans also and then that's the skin of the beans and under it's the skin of the millet does that Then we move to the peanuts or granite. Peeling the skin from the main granite. You're going to add your pan to the fire and then add the granite and toast the granite or roast it for until it starts smelling good. I like I don't know the specific time you're going to roast it. You'll see some of it will change color and some of it will not, but it will start smelling. That's when you will know it's done then you can separate the skin from the main peanuts or granuts after peeling it for some time i checked it some of it changed color as you can see then i will transfer it to a tray so that it will like the heat will reduce so that I can actually put my hand and remove the skin and rub it against in between my palms and with my hands too so that it will remove the skin. started peeling the skin one by one or you can rub it all together with your palms so that way it will be easier and faster after some time I finish peeling the skin then I'll use the same process too to remove the skin from the granite or peanut so you can see what I am doing right now I added the granite to the tray or platter then I try I started swinging it or I don't know the English name then I started removing the skin from the separating the skin from the main granite definitely doing it After some time, then this is the granite without the skin separated from the skin, and that's the skin too. Yes, and um, that's the granite mixed with the skin one that I did not separate from the main thing. After some time, I finished doing it, then I added it back to the bowl. And that's it. For, the, for the granite. This is the final product, the granite without the skin. You might find some of it with the skin because it's so hard to remove them too. Because that's how they are. And I pack everything and head inside the kitchen. I headed back inside to show you the final product. That's the granite, the that's the granite, the millet and the beans everything that's it and that's it for this vlog i hope you enjoy please subscribe bye bye